What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be learning to build a tip calculator in Python. So the tip on a bill is not particularly hard to calculate if you're used to tipping 10% or 20%, but um, a lot of it today is like 18% or 22%. Um, and really, you probably want to build this program to uh, practice your Python more than you're going to whip out your laptop after receiving a bill. Um, so this is more of a, a proof of theory, proof of concept, maybe something you would add into an application at some point. Um, but the essential function of a tip is you would enter like a tip percentage and then that would get multiplied times the bill and then divided by 100 because if you enter a percentage as a whole integer like 18%, you would want to convert that 18 to a 0.18, which is actually what you're doing. And we want to build a function that's going to return this. Um, and so we'll call it tip calc. And the two things that we'll pass into the function, and we'll show a couple different ways of doing this, but the two things you would pass in would be, we'll say tip percentage, we'll call it tip perk, and then you want to pass in the bill. So what you're going to return is just what we said. It's going to be the tip percentage, you got to spell it right, times the bill and then divided by 100. And that's it for the function. So getting that info from the user is going to mean we would say like tip uh, percent, because I like to use a different name in the outside world than I use inside the function is equal to and then we'll make it a float just in case someone wants to do like 17.5 what's wrong with you you psychos um, but we'll say float because if you make that an int and someone enters a decimal point it's going to error out and we don't want that and if someone enters a, f a whole number this will still work fine so we'll do a float and then we'll ask for a user input and we'll say enter tip percentage and we will do, 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 tell them the units when you're getting user info it's not a bad idea to tell them the units to expect to enter it in um, and so we'll say bill in dollars equals and we'll do the same thing float input and then we'll say enter the total uh, well we won't say total that might confuse them and think it's after tip let's just say enter the bill amount and we'll throw a dollar sign in there. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is call that function tip calc that we already created. And for our tip percentage, the variable that we made was tip percent. And then our bill is our bill in dollars. Okay, and you don't need that colon. And this is going to return something, but since we didn't store it in a variable, then it's not really useful. So um, what we want here, we'll call it tip amount is what we're getting back from the function. And let's go ahead and print two things. Let's say print your tip should be, and then the dollar, plus str of tip amount and then let's print your total bill would be and then the dollar amount and then let's say the string of tip amount plus the bill right because those are kind of the two fields that you fill in on the bottom of the receipt is what do you want the tip to be plus and it's bill dollars that's right so um, yeah those are kind of the two things you fill in on the bottom of the receipt so let's go ahead and run this, make sure that it's working. And if it is, we'll take a look at some variables and some things you can put in here to change it up. So let's say we had decent service and we want to do an 18% tip. Uh, let's make the bill amount an easy one just so we can make sure our function is working properly. And let's see. So the tip should be $18, yes. And the total bill would be 118 That's great. And you could say, well, I wanted to do 18% on $100. I don't think I need a function for that. All right, let's say you want to tip 22 
0.25% because f reasons, and you had a 7650 bill, okay? Well, it's telling you down to the penny. Um, you could even round it if you wanted to. Um, I'm, that's a lot of effort for a five minute tutorial. So your tip should be $17 and two cents. Your total bill would be 9352. You can see right now like that, um, that's a useful function. Some people don't really understand how to use their, uh, phone calculators and it could be nice to just spell it out for someone right there and make it, uh, clean and simple. So, uh, one other thing that you could do, and I kind of like this idea, you could put getting these, um, variables inside of your function. So then when you call tip calc, you're just saying, okay, it's time to, um, it's time to calculate the bill. Uh, I, but I don't want to have to pass in variables. Um, so you could get rid of those variables. You could put your input gathering inside of the function and you can, uh, you can get rid of the variables when you call the function. And so tip amount now is just going to be the result of tip calc. And all we did is change when you get the inputs. But as I've said in some other tutorials on this channel, a lot of the times if you're writing compartmentalized code as part of a greater team, you want to hand your function off to the team and say, all you have to do with my function is run it and know what you're getting back from it. So like, hey, run this, I'll calculate a tip for you. What you'll be getting back is a total tip amount. Um, so then all the person you hand the code to needs is this line of code and then they can use it just like this. Um, now the limit to that is you're not getting this uh, tip amount plus bill dollars. So what you can do and what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and throw all of this inside of here. Um, but instead of tip amount being equal to tip calc, tip amount is going to be equal to this function. We don't need anything. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, put those two print statements inside the function too. So now literally all we have to do to get the tip is just run tip calc. So uh, if you're familiar with functions, if you're not, there's a tutorial on how to create and call functions in Python on this channel. Um, but uh, if you're familiar with functions, this def in Python is not getting called or looked at until it gets um, referenced in this format. So essentially the only line of code that runs when this thing starts up is this guy, which tells you to go into this function and take a look at it. But you can see when we run it, error tip percentage, let's say 16% on a $75 bill. Okay, well, 12, 87, it still works just the same. The difference is now you could add this to some hierarchy of, of bookkeeping or budgeting or some other larger function. Um, and one last thing we'll take a look at, uh, you're probably, you've seen this before, but another way to do these strings would be with F strings where you, um, the F stands for formatted, but this is a really great way to incorporate variables with strings. So ordinarily, if you have a variable that is inside of a function, you have to do it like this. You have to use str, and then you have to um, convert any non-text variables into strings using that str. That can get really tedious when you have multiple variables and you have to use the plus sign to concatenate everything. If you put an F before your string, that's saying anything I put inside of curly brackets, um, I want to, uh, I want the code to recognize that that is a variable, but I want to format it as a string. So this is something that got added in Python uh, version three. So if you are coding in Python version two, you can uh, end the video, disregard this bit if you want. But this right here is still going to work just the same. And now we've gotten rid of needing the str functions and the plus uh, concatenator. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. Let's say tip 29% knocked it out of the park on a $543 bill. We were at a steakhouse. Okay. Um, you can see it, output looks just the same, but what we did is we reduced the complexity of these string statements a little bit. So um, those are just a few ways to improve this. Uh, I hope you found this beginner tutorial um, project useful. If you did, check out all the other ones on the channel. There's a ton of great content there. Um, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying what we've been making. 
And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.